What's up, y'all? I'm back at it again. So, this was a request. My cousin was like, cousin, oh my God, you got to do a little walkthrough. You got to explain this little DIY you did. I need more little information. I need a little more inspiration. Let me know what's going on, cousin. So, I'm like, okay, I'm going to break it down. So... This pocketbook is over. Over. Okay? Over. 20 years old. Okay? Now, I'm about to insert a picture from 2010 because this is the only documented picture that I have with the pocketbook. Okay? This was from a party. This was from a party. Okay, my dress was young. I had the young dress and all of that. I look a little teen, so it's probably like autumn or something. Now, right here, you can see a little more full body. You know, you can see the bag is extra big for no reason. I'm like, why would we carrying big bags like this? You could put your whole life in that bag, okay? So, that's just the background on the bag. Now, Real quick, I found these shoes at the flea market. I'm sorry, a yard sale. Was it a flea market or a yard sale? I don't know, child. They was $3. That's the point, okay? So now that you get a full description of this big old bag, you will see that I cut this bag in half, okay? In the video, original video, you don't see that. So that's why my cousin was just like, Oh my God, you got to give us a rundown of what you was doing because it's just playing music and just see you doing updates. This is the bag. You can see all I did was cut the bag in half and I made it smaller. Now you can clearly see the difference. Now let's talk about these shoes. Because I bought these shoes a while ago and this video was done a while ago. I'm going to agree with the video and say I bought these at a yard sale and not a flea market or whatever I said earlier. So I obviously bought them $3. I know I had them for a long period of time. I just knew I wanted to do something with them. I just didn't know what. Quick background story on all of these little things that I bought on sale. I've been literally Stalking. When I say stalking, stalking Hobby Lobby because I could not believe they wanted $30 for these brooches. And I said, you know, I'm not paying that much money. I'll wait till they going to sell. And I was actually going in there to buy fur because I also sell dog clothes. And I was actually going into Hobby Lobby to purchase white fur for a client's, you know, order. So... I ran across these and I said, oh my God, if I don't get them, somebody else is. So I actually bought them, figured like, you know what? I'm going to turn those boots that I bought with that old bag that I had for so long. And I'm going to turn that and upcycle it into a cute set that looks cheap, but that's actually cheap, but looks expensive. So, when you look at a lot of Jimmy Choo and a lot of Versace different, you know, it's basically the same kind of ideas that they do. They just have a popular name. Okay, so right here you see I'm showing you everything that I bought. It's bracelets, it's the uh, strip, it's like appliques, it's, you know, I think I got earrings over there. So I'm showing you with the boot, how I can style it up. You know, you know, this little toe thing was logic that, you know, that wouldn't have been able to go there. But it was just to give you an idea, okay? So, let me let you know something real quick. These little strips are not cheap, okay? That's why I like to buy them when they're like 40% off. Luckily, I got them when they were 40% off. So, I didn't pay the main price for it, but I advise people to wait till they gonna sell, okay? As you see right here, I'm like measuring it up, showing you this straight E6000, that stuff sticks to everything. Everything, my hair 
it won't move. My hair, my hair, it won't move. Now look at these. They looking cute. Look at the hill. Not the hill toe. Not the hill toe. What y'all know about the hill toe jersey shit? Buddy, ni hao. A year is giving creativity. Look at them. Now I had to come on here and freeze it because I heard from a, I heard because I heard they were saying it's too spicy. But I was like, oh, these hoes don't know how to dress because you know you could throw on any solid, any solid pink on pink, any solid jean on jean, any solid red on red, any solid blue on blue, any solid lime green on lime green. Okay, you all don't know how to drive. Like, what you mean these things? Like, you don't even know. All you got, you got the bag and the boot. No matter what you throw on with that. Okay, you can throw on a straight white beater with a pair of jeans. Girl, bye. You know how to drive. This is the kind of spicy boot that you just be needing. Because you might have them sex with you. Like, oh, I don't really got that good shoe that I really like. You know what I mean? Spice this set up. And it's like, boom. Hello. It don't matter if you got black on black, white on white. It ain't too much that ain't gonna go with it. Now, you can't have a variety of colors on your shirt and all that. No, this is a straight solid. This is the, this is the kind of boots you wear when you wear solid colors. It's meaning a solid, okay? Comblende? It's giving hot, like fire. Yeah, I had to throw a little aqua satin background just to give y'all a little more detail that, like, she know what she doing. Y'all just not, you, you just not, you just not up there yet. I mean, it's not my fault. Like, you know, I've been trendsetting. You know, it's just not for everybody. My thoughts is not, my creativity, my visions is not for everybody, you know. For those that get it, get it. And those that don't, don't. You know, everybody's taste is different. But for those that get it and they like it and they want to share it and they want to subscribe, thank you and I love you. And shout out to my cousin because she inspired this. I'm just grateful to have people that do support me and do motivate me and inspire me to keep going. So shout out to y'all. And this is just the beginning. Can't stop, won't stop. I learned how to edit. Can't stop, won't stop.